Super Salvador is generally considered to be the scariest enemy in Resident Evil 4 and by far the most dangerous one in Mercenaries. As a result of this, I made sure to demonstrate various methods of dispatching him in my tips and tricks guides for each character. Due to Leon's weaker loadout, which makes him the worst character in Mercenaries and therefore the hardest to achieve 5 stars with, I made a separate guide just for him. My Leon vs Super Salvador easy guide showed the easiest way to cheese this boss and make life easier for those who play Leon. However, I received many comments from PS2 players arguing that these tactics wouldn't work on that version due to Salvador lacking an idle state. While it is true that on PS2 he is never idle and is always in his berserker state, it's a flat out lie to claim that he's any harder to deal with on that version. To prove my point, I've made this guide to show the best ways of dealing with this more aggressive version of Super Salvador and to demonstrate that his lack of an idle state does not make him any more dangerous. This guide will mostly focus on Leon and Punk, as the other characters have more direct means of killing him, be it Krause's arm, sniper rifles, or Wesker's Magnum. Spawning is important. Though Salvador can be dealt with easily from any starting position, this guide will cover only two of them. The first will be the tower in order to compare with my previous guides, and the second will be the inside spawn, as it's the best for the PS2 version. Starting on the tower allows us to kill Salvador in a few seconds. Climbing to the top and moving to the other side will make him jump up to you. By shooting him back when he does, you'll knock him straight into the water below. The timing may take some practice, as if you time it wrong you'll have to stun lock him with shots to the head and the ganado climbing up behind you will not make this easy. From this point you can start your bonus chest and combo while preparing to deal with the second Salvador who spawns at 30 kills. By making your way to the other side of the rectangular building at around 30 kills, you'll provoke him into approaching you from that side. By waiting by the ladder and aiming at a slight angle, you can knock this one into the water as well. However, the easiest way to deal with Super Salvador on PS2 is to start inside the L-shaped building. This is because, for whatever reason, starting here means there will only be one Salvador who will spawn at 30 kills. While we could wait for him at the top of the ladder again, there is actually no reason to wait for him at all. The ladder glitch I discovered also works on PS2. Once you hit kill 30, quickly climb a ladder. This will prevent Salvador from spawning. Now you can play without ever having to worry about him making 60k far easier to achieve than it ever was before. So, not only is Super Salvador just as easy to deal with on PS2 as the other versions of the game, but PS2 allows for a Salvador free experience. I hope this guide helps anyone who is struggling to get 5 stars on Waterworld on PlayStation 2. If you need more advice for Mercenaries Mode, check out my various guides for more tips and tricks. If you want to see my tricks in practice, check out my high score runs. If you found this video helpful, return the favour by leaving a like and a comment to assist me in the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more guides like this, consider subscribing. I wish you all the best and hope to see you in the next video.